Mundigaki is an archaeological site in Kandahar province in Afghanistan. During the Bronze Age, it was a center of the Helmand culture. It is situated approximately 55 kilometers, 34 mi, northwest of Kandahar near Sachevit Makron H. Mukst, on the upper drainage of the Kushkai Nakhud River. Mundigak was a large prehistoric town with an important cultural sequence from the 5th to ND millennia BCE. It was excavated by the French scholar Jean Marie Cassel in the 1950s. The mound was 9 meters tall at the time of excavation. Pottery and other artifacts formed the later 3rd millennium BCE, when this site became a major urban center, indicate interaction with Turkmenistan, Baluchistan, and the early Harappan Indus region. Mundigak flourished during the culture of the Helmand Basin, Sestin, also known as the Helmand Culture, Helmand Province. With an area of 21 hectares, 52 acres, this was the second largest center of the Helmand Culture the first being Shehrai Sokta which was as large as 150 acres, 60 hectares, by 2400 BC. Bampur in Iran is a closely related site. Earlier, it was thought that around 2200 BC, both Shehrai Sokta and Mundigak started declining, with considerable shrinkage in area and with brief occupation at later dates. Remains of a palace have been found in one mound. Another mound revealed a large temple, indicating urban life. An extensive series of mounds marks the site of a town. The chronology is still uncertain, but it has tentatively been divided into seven main periods with many subdivisions. The main period seems to be period 4, which saw a massive rebuilding after an earlier destruction. Both the palace and the temple and possibly the city walls as well date from this period. Another destruction layer and a marked ceramic change indicate a gap of abandonment between periods 4 and V, followed by a period of further building and construction of new monuments, including the massive monument. Periods 6 and 7 saw only periodic occupation on a small scale. Mundigak and Deha Morsi provide early developments in what may be now called religious activities. A whitewashed, pillared large building with its doorway outlined with red, dating around 3000 BC is related to religious activities. Early houses were constructed at Mundigak during period I.4 in the form of tiny oblong cells with pressed earth walls. In the following layer, period I.5, larger houses with square and oblong houses with sun-dried bricks were found. Ovens for cooking and wells for water storage were found during later phases. The finds include numerous terracotta figures, which often represent people, mostly women, but also men. There are also frequent depictions of cattle. In addition, in the remains of period 4, the head of a limestone man statue was found. It is the only object that can be called a work of art in the narrower sense. The face is rather roughly worked. The eyes and eyebrows are heavily stylized. The man has short hair and a headband that ends into falling strips of fabric on the back. Statues were also found sporadically in the Indus culture, in the Oasis culture spread around the same time in the north and in Shehrai Sukta, which is also attributed to the Helmand culture. The statues show a man kneeling on the floor, often described as a priest king. It has been suggested that Mundigag's head also belonged to such a figure, but this cannot be proven. Pottery is particularly important for small finds. Most of the ceramics are painted, some of them polychrome. Various decoration traditions can be proven that are also known from other places and thus help to locate Mundigag in the context of other cultures and thus also in time. The excavation report largely focuses on decorated forms, so the undecorated pottery is less well known. There were hand-formed vessels, but also those that were made on the potter's wheel. Periods I and II are dominated by simple, painted geometric patterns, often on the upper edge of bowels. In period III the painting becomes more complex. There are still predominantly geometric patterns that belong to the so-called Quetta style. 
Others are painted in the style of the Nal culture or have similarities with ceramics of the Amri culture. In period 4 there are also isolated figurative representations, especially cattle. Various clay chalices come from period 4, decorated with rows of animals painted in black, but also with individual plants. A group of these chalices was found in room 22 in the palace. The goblets exposed there were intact. From period 4 there are two larger ceramic vessels with a sliding lid that may have served as mouse traps. Comparable mouse traps are known from Mohenjodro in the Indus Valley. The corresponding finds from Mundigak are probably several centuries older. Spinning whirls are from period I.4 attested, of which there were two types, one is conical in shape and made of clay. From period I, level 2 onwards, bronze objects are attested. Initially, they are simple tools such as needles and weapons. However, the remains of a mirror also come from period 4. An investigation showed that these artifacts were mostly made of bronze with a low tin content. Five objects with iron elements from period 4 are noteworthy. The iron always served as a decoration for bronze objects. There were no artifacts made entirely of iron. Apart from pottery and painted pottery, other artifacts found include crude humped bulls, human figures, shaft hole axes, adzes of bronze, and terracotta drains. Painting on pots include pictures of sacred fig leaves, ficus religiosa, and a tiger like animal. Several stone button seals were also found at Mundiga. Disc beads and finds barrel beads. Copper stamp seals, copper pins with spiral loops were also found. The female looking human figurines, 5 cm, 2.0 in, in height, found at Mundigak are very similar to such figurines found at another archaeological site in Afghanistan, Deha Morsi Ghundi, circa 3000 BCE. Mundigak has some material related to the Indus Valley civilization. This material consists in part of ceramic figurines of snakes and humped bulls and other items similar to those found at other Indus Valley sites. Pottery found at Mundigak had number of similarities with such material found at Kot Diji. This material shows up at the earliest layer of Kot Diji. Please like and subscribe our channel for more interesting videos.